Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new, welcome. I am so happy you found us. I am Lisa, and this is Creativity and Inspiration. And today, I'm excited. We're doing altered tickets for beginners, but for everybody else as well. This video was supposed to go up last night, and I don't know, I didn't have any sound. I mean, there was the video, and my mouth was moving, and nothing was coming out, so it was really funny. So I thought, okay, I will just refilm it and make sure the sound works. So I've done two tests before this one, and I had sound on both of those. So hopefully my camera is not being flaky, and I will have sound on this one as well. I'm excited. Today is ticket day. How do we use these tickets? What do we use them for? And how can we alter them to make them look amazing in journals, mixed media pieces, art, anything you want to use them for? So let's just jump right into this and get started. I'm going to move some junk out of the way first. Okay, guys. So tickets. What kind of tickets am I talking about? I'm talking about tickets like this. This is the typical ticket, the shape. Now, the colors, they can be red or orange and say admit one. Or they can be, um, you know, green, yellow, whatever. But these are the tickets that you most recognize the shape of. Okay, so I have these. Mine are white and pink, of course, because, you know, everything's pink. We also have this kind of ticket, which comes like this, and then they tear off individually into just small rectangles. Okay, so that's a, another kind of ticket. A third kind of ticket are these coat, che coat check tickets, which are bigger, they're fatter, longer, all of that. Okay, but they're great tickets as well. There's also milk tickets and just a ton of tickets. So I'm gonna give you some ideas how to alter these and then how you can use them in journals or mixed media pieces. Now first, let's just talk about altering them the basic way, which is your base paper, your colored paper, and then your frosting or your bling. If you watched my coin wrapper alter, how to alter coin wrappers, which I will put the card above, then you, it's the same way on a ticket, only less. And by what I mean by that is the coin wrappers were a certain size and the tickets are obviously smaller. So when you layer, you're only going to put one base layer, one color layer, and then the bling. And you're going to make sure it fits. And the thing is, you want to make sure you keep your ticket shape because that's one thing that is like just generally recognizable is the shape. And if you want people to appreciate what you've done to the ticket, they've got to be able to know it's a ticket, if that makes sense. Because I'm not going to do the altered ones, the plain altered ones, because you can watch the coin wrapper video to see how to easily alter. But here is one. I added this ticket on the top of this tag because it was off balance. There was this big flower on this side, nothing on this side, and it looked terrible. So here is the ticket I added. What I did was I inked the ticket. Then I added just a little bit of my base paper, which was the book page. Then I added some color paper, which was the strip of flowers. And then my bling or frosting is this butterfly. And the butterfly was black and white, and I wanted it to pop. So I had colored it with some watercolor. So that's an option right there. Very simple. That's our basic altering altering process. It's just done smaller on a tag. Here is another basic altering process. And I did this one on a ticket, on a milk uh, coat check ticket, and I made it into a mini tag. This would be great to fit into a larger tag. If I had a pocket, it could sit in a pocket on a tag. This would be great for a planner to paper clip to a day or something. You could also make a note on the back if you covered up the writing. So this size is great. But again, I didn't want to overwhelm it. So I used watercolor for my base and then just a smidgen of music paper as a base paper. And then my color paper and then my bling or my frosting is the little, um, little, um, oh, what do you call it? Little bobble at the top. Okay. So that is pretty cool. But like I said, you can watch how to do the basic ones on the coin wrapper video. Today, we're going to think outside the box and go outside of the basic, the basic altering, okay? Because 
if you do the same thing over and over, you're going to get bored and then you're not going to use tickets anymore. First, let me ask, how many of you use tickets now? Not very many, right? Because you don't know how to use them. What can you use them for? You're not sure how to decorate them because they're so small. And then when you do decorate them, you lose the ticket part. So what's the point? And that's the whole deal. Keep the shape visible, maybe even a little part of the ticket. And then you're going to see it's a ticket. People will notice and think it's super creative. So I'm going to use this size today. You could use any of the other sizes you want. I'm going to use this one. And I'm going to show you two things different that you can do. First, we'll do the individual. And then they make great belly bands as well. So I'll show you how to decorate them as a belly band also. Okay, so we'll start with our little individual ticket first. Let me get everything out of the way. So think outside the box. Think different. Don't be afraid to try new things. That That's the most important thing I can stress to everybody is don't be afraid to try whatever you've been thinking about. All right, I'm going to use this on the loop as just a base. My desk is already kind of trashed, but you know, it is what it is. And I have a paper towel. So I think for my base, instead of using a book page, music paper, or whatever, I'm going to use some ink. So I'm just going to... Okay, just like that. And then I think I like that pattern. So instead of blotting, I'm going to dry it. So let me get my heat gun here. And let me get it dry. I have so many cords. I charge my phone, charge my computer. I have one extension cord and I keep having to switch. Okay, there we go. So now I'm just going to take my heat gun and dry this because I like the pattern. If you didn't like your pattern, what you could do is blot it with a paper towel. Oops. If you didn't like your pattern, what you could do is you could blot it with your paper towel or you could spray, spritz it with water to get a different movement to it or spritz it with alcohol. So there's a lot of different ways to get inks to move if you don't like the way they land. <laughs> Good thing about tickets, they dry fast. Okay, so there is my base now. Instead of doing the base papers, I did ink and I'm quite happy with the pattern on it. But it still needs something. It's missing something for sure. So another underutilized source that I think we have sometimes are rub-ons. And these are just word rub-ons, so I'm going to rub a little bit of a word on here. Rub-ons rub -ons are underutilized, and they're a great source. They're easy. You don't have to have glue for rub-ons. All you do is take it and put it where you want it, and then just rub it on. Okay, I am happy with that. So I added the rub-ons to the center there. You can see them. They've added some really cool texture. They've kind of made it pop a little more. Now the last thing is going to be the frosting. And the frosting this time are going to be these puffed up stickers. Again, the stickers are another underutilized source, I think. And they work really good on tickets. And so a sticker and some rub-ons and a little spray ink. And look at that. That is a cool ticket. Now, what can you do with this? Well, I'll show you in a minute. First, let's do the belly band. Now, for the belly band, we're not going to use spray ink and we're not going to use tickets or rub-ons. I'm going to show you something else you can do to alter tickets. So let me back you up just a tad. Okay, there. I wanted you to be able to see the whole belly band. This time, I'm going to use fabric, some eyelash trim, some cheesecloth, and then I'm going to use a die-cut butterfly as my frosting. Okay, but you could use bling. You could even make a bow. You could use um, a button. Anything you wanted to. But for our uh, base, for our uh, colored layer, we're going to use fabric and eyelash trim, which again is something different. So I've cut some strips 
very thin because I want them just to fit on one little part of my belly band and I want to leave the other part undone. But before I put all this on, I want to ink it. Inking is another good way to add interest. So I am just using, uh, I don't know, it's old tea dyed uh, Tim Holtz Distress Ink in the color tea dye do the edges but I'm also kind of doing some of the ticket so it kind of looks worn so now we've got it all inked up there we go now we're going to add our base layer of fabric which is going to be my little cheesecloth here and I'm going to get some glue I've got my Elmer's craft bond glue that does fabric and um, paper which I love because I do fabric and paper now, if you don't want to see so much of the ticket, you can obviously add more fabric. You could add some paint, some ink to it. You know, just do your thing. This is meant just to give you uh, ideas. Like I always tell you, there are 101 different ways to do things. Um, and just because uh, somebody does it on YouTube doesn't mean it's the only way to do it. Definitely explore your creative side we're all different and that's what makes it so fun okay so i have the base layer down and i have the fabric down now i'm just going to put the um eyelash trim down kind of like in maybe a little like a little roll and now i'm gonna put my butterfly on top of that and then you let it dry and there's your belly band. You could also come down here because it looks a little plain. Bring in your rub-ons and just do some rub-ons. And then that adds a little interest but it doesn't take away from the other end. Okay, so now we've made these, how do we use them? Well, you saw how I used a ticket. You could still tell what it was, but it balanced out this tag. That's a great way of using them. This one, I actually turned into a tag itself, which is another great way to use them. These, obviously, one is very much a belly band, which you just find where you're going to put it and put it on your page and trim it as you need. But there you go. There's your belly band. Looks amazing. You could also use it as trim on the side of a paper okay so don't limit yourself it could also be like a mini pocket at the bottom and you could stick tags journaling cards in it or a mini or a big tuck spot spot across the top this one could obviously go on a paper clip and just paper clip on it could be a tuck spot at the top it could be a tuck spot at the bottom it could even be a tab on a page so guys, I hope you like all these different ways that you can decorate and use tickets. I hope you'll give it a try. Be sure and check out the video on altered coin wrappers as well. Let me know down below in the comments how you've used your tickets before. I'd love to know. Oh, and to get a sneak peek of how the uh, mirrors are going from thrifted to $600 knockoffs, check out the end of this video. It's a real short, no talking clip that just shows you kind of the stage they're at. It's a lot of work and then hurry up and wait. Also, please be sure and give this video a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button, that little bell, and I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye. Mm -hmm.